Hello and welcome to our lesson on solving equations. This is going to be from section 1.1 from our textbook. We're going to look at several examples going from easy to medium to hard. And I guess without further ado, let's get started. Uh, number 14 is going to be our first example. And this problem, we have x plus 7 equals 14. Here, our goal is to isolate the variable. We want to get the x by itself. So what we need to get rid of is the plus 7. And to get rid of that, you have to do the opposite operation. So opposite of plus is minus. Whatever you do to one side, you have to do to the other. So I'm going to minus 7 from both sides. 7 minus 7 is 0. And x plus 0 is x. So effectively, the 7's canceled, gets the x by itself. 14 minus 7 is 7, and we're done. That is the first example done. Next example, number 25. And here we have 3x equals 18. In this example, we need to get rid of the 3. So the 3 is attached to the x with multiplication. To get rid of it, we'll have to do the opposite operation. And the opposite operation of multiply is divide. Okay, so another way to say this is we can say that the 3 is the coefficient of x. And any time that you want to get rid of a coefficient of the variable, you need to divide. We're going to divide both sides by 3. 3 divided by 3 is 1. 1 times x is x. So again, effectively, you could say the 3's cancel. Gets the x by itself. 18 divided by 3 is 6, and we're done. And so those will be the two most basic examples. Next problem, we're going to jump down to number 37. And in this problem, we have 6x minus 15 equals 45. So here we have the 6 and the 15. We have to get rid of both of those to isolate the variable. And let me just say that the coefficient of x is the last thing to go. Okay, you need to isolate the term with the variable then you can get rid of his coefficient. So here the first step is going to be to bring the 15 over. Much like we did in number 14, you would add 15 to both sides. Here I'm going to show you a shortcut. If you want to bring the 15 over across the equal sign, that will change the sign. So bringing a term over makes the sign change and that'll get the 6x by itself. So now we can combine like terms. 45 plus 15 is 60. And remember I said to get rid of the coefficient of x, you divide both sides by it. So we're going to divide both sides by 6. Gets the x by itself. 60 divided by 6 is 10. And we're done. So that would, that would be called a two-step linear equation where you have to isolate the term with the variable and then get rid of the coefficient. All right, next problem. We're going to scroll down and we're going to look at number 73. And number 73 says 7 times 3x plus 6 equals 11 minus x plus 2. Here we have an equation with parentheses involved. We're going to need to get rid of those parentheses. So we're going to need to use the distributive property. In the first set of parentheses, the 7 is going to distribute. 7 times 3, that's going to give us 21x plus 6 times 7 is 42. Notice on the other side, it is the negative that is directly in front of the parentheses. So here, the negative will distribute, and the 11 just comes down. Now, when you distribute a negative, it will change the signs, 
and that'll make that negative x minus 2. Once you get rid of the parentheses, you need to combine like terms, if possible. Here we do have some like terms. So the 21x plus 42, we're just going to bring that down. The negative x, we're going to bring that down. And 11 minus 2 is 9. Now then, in the next step, we want to bring the negative x over so that we can get all of our x's together on the same side. Since the 42 does not have an x, he wants to move the other way. So we're shifting the terms around so that we can combine like terms. Now the 21x comes down. Negative x becomes positive x when you bring it over. And the 42 will become negative 42 when you bring it over. Now let's combine like terms. I've got 21x plus 1x gives me 22x. And on the other side, I've got negative 42 plus 9. That's going to give us negative 33. And if you're not sure about how to add those, you can use the calculator. That's fine. At this point, notice I do have the term with the variable isolated. And so now we can get rid of the coefficient. We're going to divide both sides by 22. That's going to get the 22s to cancel, which gets the variable by itself. And 33 over 22 will reduce. We're going to need to divide both of those by 11. And that will reduce to negative 3 halves. And that's done. Number 73 is done. And I've got one more example to look at before we call it quits for this lesson. All right, number 45, we've got 6 fifths x plus 4 tenths x equals 32 tenths. Now notice this equation is a little left up. <laughs> that means fractioned up. And I know fractions intimidate some people, but listen, I've got a technique. It's called kill off the fractions. I'm going to show you how you can eliminate the fractions so that you don't have to deal with them. If you can get every denominator to match, you can cancel them out. So what I notice, if I multiply 5 times 2, that will make that denominator 10. And then all of the denominators will be 10, and I can cancel them out. However, whatever I do to the bottom, I have to do to the top. So we're going to multiply top and bottom by 2. Notice now I've got 10, 10, and 10. And now we can cancel those out. So what have I got? I've got 6 times 2, which is 12x, plus 4x equals 32. And now I have a new problem with no fractions to deal with. So we can go ahead and we can combine like terms. 12x plus 4x is going to give me 16x equals 32. And now that I have the term with the variable isolated, I can get rid of the coefficient. We're going to divide both sides by 16. 16s are going to cancel, leaving me x by itself. And 32 divided by 16 is 2. And that's going to do it for this lesson. So if you need to see more examples of anything I've done, go check out my homework video playlist. If you have any questions or comments, of course, you can leave those in the comment section below or you can text me. And thanks for watching.